Hey guys, it's Progressive Performance, and I'm Jimmy. And I'm Tori. And today, we're gonna go over our vertical pull category of movement, which is basically your pull-up. Now, here at the gym, we don't have a lat pull-down machine. Many of you can use that at your commercial gym. It's a cable machine with a big long bar across the top that you pull down to your chest or your collarbone. Now, we're gonna show you a couple exercises today that can take the place of that exercise as a regression from a pure pull-up on a bar. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you two exercises today. The first one is with a resistance band. So, we have a resistance band here. It's just tied up to our, our pole in the middle of the gym here. And Tori's gonna get in position to get those lats engaged with this exercise. So you're going to set up a band at an angle here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to pull that band around our ears, pulling those elbows down and into our sides, and then returning it back to that starting position. So as you can see, she's keeping her back nice and neutral, getting a little stretch in the hamstring, keeping those shoulder blades nice and packed as she brings that back and making sure she's focusing on bringing those shoulder blades in and together when those elbows come into her sides, letting them come out and forward when those elbows come up into that starting position. One of the things that we see that is a big mistake that a lot of athletes and clients make with this exercise is that they throw their shoulders forward and their traps come up into their ears when they pull that band down into themselves. Now, one of the problems here is this can make your shoulders kind of angry, so we want to avoid that as much as possible. So make sure you select a resistance that you can comfortably execute this movement with for at least 10 to 12 reps before you move up to a heavier resistance. A heavier resistance is going to cause a poor movement pattern that you're going to ingrain over time, so we want to use a lighter resistance to really learn this movement properly. So we're going to move on to our second uh, variation of the first progression of our vertical pull category movement. All right, so here is our second variation on the first progression of our vertical pull category. So what we're going to do here is we'll set up a barbell um, about in a spot where when you reach your hands up to it, you're kind of barely able to grip it and keep your butt on the floor. Okay, this is gonna be variable depending on how long your arms are, and you're gonna to need to kind of figure that out, but you can do this in a squat rack or a rig, um, anywhere really where you can set up a barbell. Now, the key to this movement is that we wanna make sure that you stay vertical the entire time, because we're starting to try to make this a vertical pull and not a horizontal pull. So if you lean back too far and pull your chest to the bar, that becomes a row. Right? So this is really a row right here that Tori's doing right now. She's not doing a pull-up or a vertical pull. That's more like a horizontal pull. So if you can keep yourself as vertical as possible, stack your hips underneath the bar, pull your clavicle or collarbone to the bar, so Tori will show you here, that's our pull-up variation there. Now, the great thing about this is you can offload as much weight as you need to by using your legs to help you up and make this an easier exercise. This is a great way to bridge into being able to do an assisted pull-up with a band or a machine after we master this exercise. Same rules apply as all of our other back exercises. Pat those shoulders down, rotate those shoulder blades down and in as you pull up to the bar, and do not allow your shoulders to come forward into your ears when you pull yourself up to that bar. 